Good day, class. So, this will be the first topic ng heat transfer natin. So, ang heat transfer natin, tatlo lang naman ang pinaka, pinaka topic natin dyan. Yung transfer of heat in terms of conduction, convection, and radiation. Napakaikli lang ng heat transfer. So, what is heat transfer? ba diba, sabi nila sa thermodynamics, heat is a form of energy. It can be, ano, can be given off by what? A heat producing body. And sometimes, and all the times pala, it can be absorbed by a cold body. Okay? Yung nagsasabi, Oy, sarado mong pinto, lalabas ang aircon, mali yun. Ha? Actually, pumapasok ang init or nagta-travel ang heat from hot side to cold side. Okay? Within the loss of the thermodynamic loss. Okay? So, in thermodynamics, heat may def be defined as the energy in transit. Ibig sabihin, gumagalaw yan. From a high temperature object to a lower temperature object, hindi ka pwedeng magkaroon ng heat transfer kung walang heat producer and heat absorber. Yun lang ibig sabihin nun. If you place a hot object, example, mainit na Starbucks, diba? or a cold object, example natin, siya, masyado siyang cold. Aray ko, bes. Hindi ganun, joke lang. Ice water. In an environment at ordinary room temperature, what will happen? The object will tend toward what? Thermal equilibrium. Magbabalance out yung kanilang heat with its environment. Now, that is, the coffee gets colder as time passes by and the ice water gets warmer. Kaya nga yung ice natutunaw. The temperature of each approaches the temperature of the room in a given time or within the span of time na na-expose sila doon. Yun yung thermal equilibrium na tinatawag. Okay? Now, heat transfer by definition is the movement of heat from one body to another through conduction, convection, or radiation. Yung tatlong yan. They are the three forms of heat transfer. Now, let us see. Just a recall, how does heat energy move? Always remember, always remember class, that heat will move from the hot body to the cold body. Kaya nga heat transfer ang tawag eh. Now, in this diagram, as you can see, we have here a hot body and then a cold body. When something in, came in contact with the two, yun yung nagiging tulay para sa kanila magkaroon ng contact. Now, yung heat flow nila magkakaroon. Yung heat flow na yon, yung hot side will go to the cold side. Now, dun sa gitna nila, magkakaroon sila ng thermal equilibrium. Nagpapantay yung kanilang temperatures. Now, hot objects in a cooler room will cool at a room temperature. Yun yung limit nila. And other one, the cold objects in a warmer room will heat up to room temperature. Now, that is equilibrium. Okay? Nag-equal yung dalawang states. The transfer of heat between a system and its environment can take place by three mechanisms. Sinabi ko na nga, conduction. Okay? Conduction, meron ka dyang solid object or meron kang medium para ano? Para mag-travel yung heat. Convection, eto, umiikot-ikot. Siya yung heat transfer na nagta-transfer ang or it is the heat transfer that involves yung molecular activity. Now, radiation is a form of heat transfer using the waves. Yun. Conduction. Hinawakan mo yung makina ng kotse, napaso ka, that is conduction. Convection, yung ano, yung heat transfer dun sa loob ng ano, object. Okay, that is convection. Kung consider mo din yung ano, yung qualities of air on the hot side and then the cold side, ganun yung convection. Now, the radiation, ang an lapit-lapit mo dun sa ano, sa makina ng kotse, without touching it, you can feel the heat. Yun ang radiation. Okay? Ilang naman pinagkaiba nila. Now, by definition, conduction is the mode of heat transfer in which heat is transferred by molecular interaction through bodies. Meron kang contact. O, oh, ayan o. 
it can be understood from the Fourier law. So, hindi na natin yun i-derive. Okay? We will not delve on that idea, deriving the Fourier law of conduction. Meron na tayong given dyan na equation. Now, convection. It is a mode of heat transfer which heat is transferred due to mixing and motion of particles of a substance. Molecular. Okay? Now, free convection, the substance moves because of the decrease in its density. Okay? Ayan nga, oh, mixing, mixing, di ba? Mixing and motion of particles. So, density, ano ba yan? That is the mass over the volume. Okay? Affected siya ng mass, the quantity of mass, and then the volume. Nung ano? Nung ating object. Now, that is free convection. Now, what is force con convection? Now, the substance moves because of the application of mechanical power, such as that of a fan. Now, you have a hot body, applyan mo ng fan. Kaya nga sinabi ko sa inyo, meron yan sa ano, cooling system ng inyong mga sasakyan. Now, radiation. It is the mode of heat transfer in which heat is transferred between bodies by energy propagating electromagnetic waves. Good example, the sun. Okay? You cannot feel the heat of the sun without its electromagnetic waves that travels very far from the distance of the sun to the earth. Okay? And it is filtered by our ozone layer. Kaya, yung extremities ng heat of the sun, hindi mo na-feel kasi na-filter na siya. Okay? Now, let's go to the notable constants for heat transfer. Marami tayong notable constants for heat transfer. Parang thermodynamics din yan. Okay? Yung R bar, Universal gas constant, that is 8.3143. Kilojoules per kilomol, the degree Kelvin. How about yung ano, English units? 1545 feet pound per pound degree Rankine per mole. Yung isa, kahit din yung nagamitin. Ito lang dalawa naman yan. Eh. Kasi, yung R natin, or the universal, uh, ito kasi universal gas constant, or the gas constant R, is equal to R bar over the molecular weight of the substance. Okay? For air, ano yung air? That is 0.28708 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Kapag, uh, kapag SI units, sa what English units? In English units, direct na 53.34 feet pound per pound degree Rankine. Ito lang dalawang to. Okay. Uh, the solar constant, the heat coming from the sun. So, uh, that is 13.53 watt per meter squared. So, heat per area. Yun yung rate ng solar constant. Ginagamit to saan? Sa solar power computation. Now, the radius of the earth. Saan ginagamit ito? Uh, it is used using yung ano, Newton's law of gravitation. The escape velocity, earth escape velocity, di ba i-slingshot mo kung ito yung earth, ilang beses ka munang iikot dyan bago itapon yan, palabas. Ganyan yung ginagawa ng mga spaceship. Sir, bakit hindi pwedeng diretsuhan lang sila? Alam mo, nagbe-build ka up, nagbe-build up ka ng ano, speed and momentum kapag nag-slingshot ka. So, ang mga spaceship natin, okay, meron tayo rocket dito. Yan yung rocket natin. Meron siya exit velocity na 11.2 kilometers per second. And that is very fast. Now, the human heat, saan ito ginagamit, sir? Ginagamit yung human heat in order for you to calculate the heat requirement for an air conditioning unit. Kung ilan ang pupuesto dun sa room na yun. That is 225 BTU per hour up to 300 BTU per hour with allowance. Now, for the uh, specific heats of water, the specific heat of water is 4.186 at constant pressure and it is also equal to constant volume. Okay? 4.187 or 186, okay na yun. The latent heat of fusion, anong ibig ko sabihin doon? That is the energy you need to turn water into ice at 0 degree Celsius. And that is 334 kilojoule per kilogram. Or, 144 BTU per pound. Now, the latent heat of vaporization of water 
in order for you to turn water into steam at 100 degrees Celsius or ano in order for you to make water boil at 100 degrees Celsius you need 220 at uh, 2257 kilojoule per kilogram of energy and that is 970 BTU per pound kapag English units yung i wag mo nang pansinin now yung CP ng water okay or the CP of ice, di ba ice is solid water, that is half lang nung CP ng water at normal conditions. Laging ganun yun. And air, for, and air or gases, K, uh, specific heat uh, ratio, is 1.4 at normal conditions and 1.3 at hot conditions. The CP of uh, air is 1 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin in SI units and 0.24 BTU per pound degree Rankine if in English units. And the CV of air is uh, 0.7186 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin if that is SI units and equal to, hindi na isama dito, 0.171 BTU per pound degree Rankine if English units. And the latent heat of vaporization of air is approximately 2,442 kilojoule per kilogram. And uh, I think that will be all. And ito na pala yung pinaka thought ng heat transfer. I summarized them all. Okay? Yan yung lahat ng pag-aaralan natin pagdating ng heat transfer. Meron tayong number one, conduction through plane wall. And number two, Conduction through composite plane wall and number three, heat transfer from, from fluid to fluid. Meron ding heat transfer through pipes. Yun ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon. Okay? Tapos, in our finals, you'll have to deal with LMTD or log, logarithmic mean temperature difference and AMTD or arithmetic mean temperature difference plus radiation which is very basic and Always, uh, formula-based lang ang solving. Okay? So, let us take a five-minute break.